starving. Yeah. Oh, wait, is that I stand alone? Okay, I gotta stop him. Just, I gotta stop him for copyright strike. Oh, shit. It is the Scorpion King. It's a bad action game. Let's do it. New game. Oh, that was scary. The Scorpion. <laughs> a perfect predator. It is silent, I don't know if he's perfect. He's all right. So, a lot of people don't remember this is based on the first actual Scorpion King movie. It is made by Point of View Software, and it's bad. He's an Arcadian. He loves arcades and everything to do with arcades. And I remember I saw this in theaters, and I was like, man, The Rock is a bad as an actor. Like, he was not good in Scorpion King and for most of his earlier movies. But he got better. He got really fun. He got really charismatic. But like at first, he... One among their number will face this test. That character model looks better than WWE 2K20. Named Matthias. That looks better. That's so fucking sad. Sorry to get so real there. Ooh, you know when they they use concept art that looks like that for the loading screen. He planted you in the dirt, Rama. He stood in front of the sun. I couldn't see. Matthias used a valid strategy. It defeated you, didn't it? Oh my God. But it's the very first time. You'll have to do better to pass your test today, Matthias. Don't worry about me. I've had all the training I can stomach. I want to get out there in the real world. Is it actually Dwayne? Don't get me. Don't be so sure. <laughs> you must be Watch a rock just give him a rock bottom right assassin. there. If you lose concentration, even for a second, it will get you. All right, killed. all right. You've made your point. Now the king wants. Are these JPEGs? Are, is, are these like Resident Evil backgrounds? Let's go, Jessup. That's Reno Romaro. Uh, he's done lots of voices. Okay, so my first thing I noticed is that Dwayne is not actually standing on the ground. He's standing a few centimeters above the ground. That's not a first good impression. The second bad impression was when I moved him around. Shoulder charge, though. Okay, was that collect blood rubies? I didn't really hear it. Is that royalty-free pot smashing sound effect? It's similar, but it's not the same one, so this gets a pass. Holy shit, he's above the ground. You unlocked a bonus feature. A oh, wow. You know you're playing a movie game when it's holy shit. Perform basic attacks by just pressing just XXX and the YYY. Look at that blocking. Wow, that's the combat system. Feels about as good as the one in Enslaved. Would you like to fight the trainer again using basic attacks and combos? I'm good. And Slave didn't have good combat. I mean, it's better than this, but yeah. This is a fucking movie game. Bye, movie game. Alright, so we have to rise. We're the Arcadian. So remember that scene in Conan where Conan punched a camel and the camel, like, kicked his ass? That was great. You can't do punch-punch-kick combos on the camel, though. Camels are very nasty creatures. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you like camels. You know, I don't punch any animal. But like, uh, camel's gotta go. Wait, I can't do the shoulder charge anymore. All of a sudden. My shield! I can't actually attack him if I'm not holding- I'm out of here! That was another breakout. Break out! Holy shit, there's OTGs though! Get Lythera on this shit. I got a skull. I have collected a skull. Wow, it's connected to his bioenergy. Would you like to fight the trainer again? Absolutely not. He went back to Arcadia! Man, am I looking at that HUD at the top and I got no clue what that means. I'm assuming green is health, but I, who can be sure? And then after that, I can... Oh, there's a blood ruby. Hold on. Those are transparent. Pretty sneaky, Dwayne. Ah, uh, geez, grabbing and jump attacks. So, and as soon as I enter the area, I can do that move, but all of the moves are banned. Jumping attack. I'll just throw his ass. He just flipped over me, just bumped him around me. I'm, he was like Lex Luger. Wow. 
Dwayne does that when he gets up every morning. That's a bad animation, man. Oh, okay, sure. Nice. There's a cow skull. Can I break that? I can. It's unbreakable. Adamantium, maybe. I'm out of here. This, how big is this tutorial area? Matthew's getting worried. Where is he? I love how he flexes. Oh, shit! Is there like a targeting thing? Dude, you made me drop the pot! No, I did not. Fuck! The clothesline! From hell! Okay. Now I'm getting sick of this royalty-free pot smashing sound. Finally! This kind of reminds me of Delhi Premonition in the start of it. No, go back to Planet Arcadia. Special attacks uh, they cause a lot of damage to the enemies around you, but they, they drain the stamina. Because this is a beat em up game. There's a special dash attack as well as a special breakout. Uh, they use a channel of special attacks. Okay. Oh my god, there's a Tatsu. I can't pick this up. Red, red Jewel Juby. Red Jewel Juby. This is a tutorial. Fucking Twilight Princess is nothing on this. Am I milking it? What's happening here? I think I'm milking it. Oh shit. Now everything you've learned against the other trainees, kill everyone! Break out! Wow. I mean, maybe it's a bit better when I get my sword. Maybe I shouldn't judge right now, but I, I really feel like it won't get better. That, that, people just fly over me. Where'd that guy go? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is a long, this is a list of a long line of mummy related games. There's Mummy 1 on the PlayStation. Then there's Mummy Returns. Uh, no. And then there's Mummy Return of the Dragon Emperor on the PS2 and GameCube. And, um, a PS2 and Wii, sorry. Uh, and then there's a, a, a Scorpion King game on the GBA that actually looks kind of decent. Then there's this. There's the whole Mummy Cinematic Universe is on video game platforms. It's awesome. I think. There are enemies remaining. Fuck you. Do I have to do this again? No, there's not. I don't. He's dead now. I can leave. No? Where are the enemies remaining? There's, okay, so I have to defeat this again. If you leave, it resets. Timed combat. Or is this a different mode? I don't know. There's two guys left. There's a timed combat mission for Dwayne. To see if he could get over. Just do this until this guy dies. No, die, die, die! I don't know if I did it. I don't think I got the ruby. Whatever, I can leave now. I don't think anyone's actually played this on, this game on YouTube ever. I'm pretty confident in that. Do not correct me. Finally. So, Matthias, you think you're ready to take on the test? Yes, Jessup. Whatever the king wants, I'm up to the challenge. Oh, not so bad. See, I want to live long enough to become the villain, because Scorpion King becomes Scorpion King, you know? Oh, I have to fight both of them? Break out! It hurt no one. I'll just do my secret technique. Okay, that guy actually doesn't just get... He just doesn't get knocked down. Oh, that's kind of neat. Oh, oh, what was that? He blocked the throw. That's kind of neat. Yeah, that's, that's the combos. I really wish you could lock on. Oh! Yeah, what's my name, bitch? Dwayne. Please do a big dumb victory pose. Ah, oh, he didn't do it. I took a beating though. But I was the Scorpion King. I come to begin my test. What did I just do? Thought I did all the tests. You have worked hard. Now I lay my task before you. I am ready, my king. To the south of here lies the market town of Kemet. Mm -hmm. Three days ago, the lord of the town foully murdered one of the palace concubines. That's no good. Fearing for their lives, the girl sisters have asked for the help of the Acadians. Oh, it's Acadians. I forgot. I send you, Matthias. 
you will enter Canada. I forgot that the Scorpion King movie was written. Maybe it was directed, but at it was at least written by David Hayter, like voice of Solid Snake. The only voice of Solid Snake. And Big Boss. Um, which is messed up to me. You know, he is a screenwriter first and foremost. He just kind of fell into voice acting, but... Yeah, it was weird. He also directed a werewolf movie that I think had, like, Jason Momoa in it. I think. I should watch Scorpion King again. Kelly Hugh, mwah, in that movie. He's looking fine. Michael Clark Duncan, rest in peace. He was looking fine, too. Dwayne was alright. This is a PS2 game, man. Playing this on the GameCube, but, man, this... Uh. I wish they could have actually maybe got me into this place with like a sword or some type of weapon. I guess this is this this mission is procure on-site weapons acquisition. Hey you! Hey you! The voice that I was earlier. Does that guy wear like a little cap? That's weird. Is there like a level up menu? Holy shit, there is. Not sure if I can actually do anything. Hey, trail of blood. One hand attacks the combos, taming the flame, mulching ball. What is this? I mean, there's a lot of destructible shit. Doesn't look too good, but. It's like the final scene of the room. Coming from inside. I can't break in. Sorry, whose voice was that? This is somebody's home. I shouldn't go in. Oh, so they just replace Dwayne's voice sometimes. He only does the cutscene voices. This is somebody's home. I shouldn't go in. That's shite. Man, there's only ghosts in these pots. What are those guys doing down there? What is this, Skyrim? I would really like... Uh, you know, I'm gonna wait until I can get a sword to really say anything about the combat. I mean, right now it's not good. But maybe it might be better later. Uh, there's a scorpion logo there. I don't know what that does. I guess that's when it returned back with uh, the uh, jump boots or something. All right, he used his magic fingers to open up that door. <laughs> yes, my win. What were you guys even playing, Invisible Dice? What'd he say? Hey, you. Okay. There's no subtitles, everyone I checked. Where are you going? Huh? I don't know if that hit anybody. I'm assuming it did. Sword? Give me your... Oh, no sword. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted. What are these guys with these little chapeaus? It's so strange looking in a game like this. I'm not sure if the point of view software did their due diligence on historical, like, research. I'm gonna say they really did it, in fact. They're looking up the Acadians and the Legend of the Scorpion King. I'm sure most of you remember that lesson in high school. I, I don't think they, you know, put in the work. Let me know in the comments if anyone was like, Fuck yeah, you're playing Scorpion King so underrated. Because I uh, bet those comments don't exist. Did you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Mortal Kombat Deception Conquest Mode. Like the way the people run in the animations and, and the graphics, especially, oh my god, yeah. Maybe even a bit of Armageddon's, but Armageddon's look, looks better than this. Ooh, look at that big boy! That's a chunky boy! I think they just, like, Giant Gonzalez! I like how they have all the, um, all the stuff in this kingdom just be connected to people's, uh, biometrics. So whenever I win... Uh, the door's open. It's it's nice, actually. Round shield, finally, some type of weapon. So maybe this is a level up pad. We can only hope. No? Nine guys, huh? So this is the game. This, like, honestly, this is a, a beat-em-up. This is a brawler. It The wave-based stuff. And, like, PS2 games, PS2 GameCube, Xbox games that work like this, mostly movie games, just very simplistic design. In 3D, it's it's really less fun than 2D, I find, this this style. Because it's like, they're always going to be 3D, so they're always going to look like this, just really, really boring. 
At least 2D, 2D games have a more of a visual style. Yeah, there's bland 2D games too, but like this is, this is a little woeful, you know? Like, you know, Rise of the Kasai or, or um, Mark of Cree, like that's how to do this type of thing, that type of, of style of game in a, in a more interesting way. I haven't played that in a long time. I'm always surprised that those never got like slight HD remasters. Like Sony owned them, I'm pretty sure. Like, here's the thing, this isn't going to be violent. Once I get a, um, a sword or whatever, a machete. There's a doggo, though! Feel bad, but he's attacking me. Okay, I just knocked out the dog. He's not dead. Um, what- Oh, shit! When- Once I get a sword, like, there's not gonna be limbs coming off or anything. Like, if there was, there'd be at least some visceral, like, thrill in that, but they're, they're not gonna be. The movie was rated PG-13, pretty sure. Like, maybe if I'm fighting Anubis and, like, mummies and stuff and daddies, like, maybe then there can be at least some, like, decapitation or, or whatever have you. So some type of stuff like that, like damage to enemies that looks a little bit cooler than all of this. There might be something there, but I kind of doubt it. Oh, there's dogs. Just keep doing the sweep. Sweep the dogs' legs. They'll fall on the floor and there'll be tons of damage. Where are they? I heard them. Ah! All right, just two guys. All right, now we're good. I'm not. I don't care about those red rubies. Up. Fuck it. Oh! Fuck! Finally. This better not have like damage. Okay, so D-pad is just switching to different weapons. I, I meant this better not have, like, uh, weapon breakage. No, man, no, I'm not about that. It's fine for Breath of the Wild for me, but, like, the, the game like this, just give me my weapon. Because at least there's tons of different fighting techniques and cool shit you could do in Breath of the Wild. Not so much here in Scorpion King Rise of the Akkadian. Yeah, it's just sparks. Are these guys robots? I guess they didn't know what to do. They can't put blood splashes. It's also like another couple of games like this, like movie games specifically. Yeah, actually. Ah, oh, doggy. Um, uh, on the later systems, on 360 and stuff. Like, do you remember them? Beowulf and Clash of the Titans. Beowulf was made by like fucking Ubisoft, I think. And and Clash of the Titans was made was made by like a Japanese company, even though it's like such an American film. Um, like Crafts and Meister. I think they made Majin and the Forsaken Kingdom and shit like that. I I own both, I think. I, I don't know. I, I definitely own Beowulf. Because I look at it with a longing in my eye when I see it in my like my game collection. But um, Clash of the Titans, I don't know if I... Please, sir. Okay, is he dead? Cool. No, no, he's not! I love the rocks just waving his arms around. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing with the sword anymore. He's, he's long past carried. Oh, so it's the same special moves with, um, with the sword, huh? Cool. Alright, it's actually a bit harder to attack with the sword, because it... I mean, it's missing the dog a whole lot. Like, honestly, not that every game released nowadays is amazing and stuff, but... Because lots of games have problems, obviously. Like, you know, I do what happened videos. But, like, you either get this on this era uh, uh, for like like you know kind of like old-timey slashing attacking action games like this or you get like Assassin's Creed Odyssey as I, I, I'll pick an Odyssey every time what this could use to spice things up while I'm you know just thinking because I have a lot of thinking to do while I mash these buttons is um you know like a horse riding section some type of rail like on rails sort of I don't know, exciting action set piece, because I have a sneaking suspicion this is the game for five hours. You know, let, let me know if I'm right on that assumption. I feel like I'm big right. These dogs, dude. These fucking dogs. I got, I got to find health. The dogs are going to kill me. They're strong, strong puppos. Oh my god. No, dogs! Game over! Well, it's still on. 326 consecutive hours. And all because of one little Dwayne. Who won't let me stop! 
<laughs> you know, like another game I'm shocked I ever got like a video game adaptation is that real big rip off of 300. They had Henry Cavill in it, had The Witcher in it, Superman in it. It was like his first movie and like Mickey Rourke, I think. Nice. One more hit, I'm fucking dead. I can't wait. And I'm not doing this over again. I'm fucking not. Nice. So that's the end of the Scorpion King. So that's Scorpion King. Um, It's on store shelves now. If you know of any other bad movie games like this you'd like to see me do, uh, let me know in the comments and um, I can't promise I'll play them, but I'll give it a good college try.